welcome back to my channel. I'm going to bring you guys along today as I decorate the two trees in my house for Christmas. I'm doing it early. This is December the 1st. I'm not late like I was with my fall decorating. So I'm going to decorate this tree in the family room. And then, well, this isn't a family room tree. This is like the sitting room tree. But this is where the actual presents and everything will be under that tree. And then I also decorate this tree in this room she may help me did you want to be in my video okay <laughs> i didn't ask her i just shot over there to her okay so this tree is weird because there is no um lights in this middle but i work i work with that and then i decorate different areas in this room as well so the mantle the mantle and then this little side table as well as the kitchen table and then at the top of the cabinet. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys stuff that I brought. So I already have, to my stepdaughter's point, she said this earlier, she's like, you have a lot of Christmas stuff. I already have a lot of stuff, but I did add on some additional items this year. So I got this bub, which is going to go outside and replace my pumpkin out there from Kirkland's. And then I got these stackable, I don't know what you call them. They're like the stackable little boxes that light up i also got these from kirkland's and then i got some more i wanted some extra large bubs like i don't think i have any bubs this size and my tree is like all kind of like metal so it's i think like rose gold gold shimmery gold so I got some big one, big bubs, and I got these from Home Goods, and I got two of those because I already have, I already have a lot of bubs, and you can see these were only $7.99. Kirkland's had 40% uh, off all their Christmas stuff, so I think this was $29.99, and then it was 40% off that. I can't seem to find my Kirkland's receipt to tell you guys. Oh, here it is. I can tell you. So I paid. $7.79. Oh, for these little boxes. So the boxes total $17, $18, dollars So it looks like all those boxes are like $32 total. And then the bub, which was originally $24, was only $17.99. So that's not bad. It's a pretty good deal. So, yeah, so that's all I brought. That's all the additional stuff. Oh, I lie. Lies I tell. I also got these little uh, thingies that I'm just going to stick in the tree. We'll see how this works. I don't know if I'm going to use a lot of these. They look a little different. Um, we'll see how I can work with these. Because they're a little different from my other tree additions that I have. But other than that, everything else that I'm using is, uh, is oh, well, no. Again, I tell lies. I did get, because I see there's a thing now to have this little like ribbon thing on your trees. So the tree that is in the family room is like a gray and white. And this tree is the tree that's like the rose gold and gold and shimmery colors. So I say that to say I did get two ribbons because I'm going to try to put those on the tree as well. Um, to just do something different. So I got this tree, this ribbon for this tree here. So... But that's really it. And I say that to say that I did really good this year because last year I brought this tree um, from Michael's because this is our first, that was our first year in this house. And then I also brought like all of like the bowls and all of that to go on there just because it was my first time having that tree. So yeah. So all right, so I'm about to go into auto drive as I prep everything and then you guys will see me decorating. Here I am just fluffing the tree and getting it ready to put the ornaments on there. And now I am adding the ornaments. You will see that I start at the top and work my way down to the bottom. I also start with the larger ornaments. Oh and look, my stepdaughter took a break from watching the game to come help me a little bit. Here we 
see me doing a few close-ups of actually placing the bows on the tree. Also, if you look, you can see that some of the buffs I put on the inside of the tree to give the tree a little bit more depth instead of just sitting them on the limbs. That's just a little trick. placing the ribbon um, that I spoke about at the beginning of the video on the tree. I hadn't done this technique before so it took me a little minute to try to figure it out. So trying to do both trees in one night just was not happening. So this is me starting with the second tree in the other room the next morning. I got a little smarter in this one in that I laid out everything before actually doing the decorating. And here I'm just doing some close up of all the decorations that are going on the tree and in the area. So on this tree, I use the silver mesh, um, and I've been doing this technique for about two years or so, and I really like the look that it gives to the tree. going to be decorating the fireplace and the two buffet tables that I have in the living room and then I'll move to the dining room table and then lastly above my cabinets.
these are all our family specialty ornaments. Um, I did a close-up of these because I actually took a break and had the kids come put their ornaments on the tree and my husband come put his ornaments on the tree as well. And that is it folks. Now I'm just doing a walkthrough of all of decorations that I put up in the house. This is pretty much it. The only thing that I still need to get is a bow for on the top of the Christmas tree that's in the sitting room. And I need to get a little bit more garland to go on top of the cabinets. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this holiday style decorate with me. I really enjoy recording it and I hope you guys are getting ready for the holiday season.